Okay, I'm all packed up and ready to go. You know when you're just kind of black out and you just start throwing a bunch of stuff in your suitcase? like. And I know I'm going to wear what's most comfortable, but um, I don't know. I mean, it's better to have it than not. That's what I say. And I'm getting up tomorrow at 4.30. Okay, it's like 10 to 6, I'm heading to the airport. Do you ever just wake up so early and then your makeup just doesn't look right? Because I feel like that's what's going on. Don't mind the hair extensions, I don't know if I should take those or not. You know, I used to go visit my boyfriend and I'd put my hair extensions in and when you go through the metal detector, it, you know, they pat the back of my head because it's metal, the clips, so I don't know if I should take them or not, but I'll see you there. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show you some of the scenery pulling up to some of the other resorts um, compared to the scenery at the Valentine. Do you see that? Like, the second you roll on the ground on the Valentine, everything's impeccable. The landscaping's beautiful. It's just such, everything's so aesthetically pleasing. It's so pleasing to the eye. That's the row of palm trees rolling in this is the front lobby it's just so ornate and over the top i just love it and it smells so good it's like a signature scent and you can actually buy it in the gift shop and i think it's under you know like for travel restrictions like the liquid i think it's under 3.5 ounces so you could take it home but anyway the lobby is so beautiful it's one of my favorite parts and it's just so cool in there it's like the perfect temperature and when you walk into the lobby, you know, you're checking in, you're greeted with a glass of champagne. I forgot to mention too, from the second you get out of the car, they hand you like a cool towel and then they check in your luggage. Here's me with my champagne. Now this is outside the lobby and there's just all these like nice open air seating areas. Then they take your luggage, they whisk you off in their golf cart to your room. There's carts all over too if you need like a ride to dinner, this or that. Okay, so here is my room and this is my third time here and this might be my favorite room yet it overlooked the golden pool and obviously here's a shower they have the nice like rainfall shower and there's like a handheld i'll show you that more later and here's the bathroom and the bathroom you know obviously there's a toilet a boudet and a phone <laughs> which i think is funny and um in every room there's a jet tub and i think there's a double sink Anyway, I think that these rooms have been upgraded or remodeled, but the last time I was here, they were so nice too, but now everything's touchscreen, like the lights are touchscreen, um, and it's just a little bit more upgraded, I guess you could say. There's plenty of mirrors in the room, there's two TVs, You there's a mini bar, so you, and they fully stock that every day, just help yourself, it's all inclusive. This is the view from the balcony. Um, it's just beautiful and you don't have to worry that it's going to be noisy at this pool because this is the golden pool and it's more of like a relaxation pool but oh here's me I was so excited to go to the beach so I just threw my shit down excuse me stuff down and changed and headed straight to the beach so it's just beautiful this is the path leading up and uh those were showers I showed you uh earlier so you can rinse off you know when you're done at the beach this is the beach bar this is where the swings are oh my god i just love it here so much um the guy the bartender he made the best mimosas here is the view at night and you can order room service 24 hours a day and of course it's all inclusive so it's all included the food here is amazing uh oh there's bathrobes you can wear as well as like slippers and here I am, I'm going to go fill up the tub and go relax in the jet tub for a little bit. And I'm always nervous to go into like jacuzzis because I think I'm going to catch something. But I don't know, I just feel like everything is so clean here that I'm not even scared to go in. So I'll put some body wash in and some shampoo because I like a lot of bubbles. And we'll just get that going. Um, and then, you know, I have the room service, so I might as well just, this is just giving such Taurus energy. It's Taurus season. I'm just going to have a bubble bath, relax, have some chips and salsa. Um, and it's just amazing. Oh, it's just so nice. And then I'm going to show you the shower a little bit better. Um, so it's set to the perfect temperature and you just have to push the buttons on for the over the head and the handheld like so. Oh, I love the handheld. It just, it was so nice to wash your hair with it. Uh, again, here's the view at night. And what I could say 
about Mexico is there's always a nice breeze coming off the ocean. So it's humid, but there's always that nice breeze. So you're never like really hot like it is in Florida. Do you know what I mean? I just love it. So here I am. Here's the second day. There is an espresso machine in the hotel. And I will say I did have a little bit of trouble using it a couple times. But I'm sure I could have called room service to get a new one. But um, it was it was good though. I and here's oh I like the little treasure map picture. Oh and I wanted to show you ladies. There's so much counter space when you're trying to get ready. And there's a makeup mirror. I don't like when oh and here we are. <laughs> here's the room service breakfast. Sorry, this video is going so fast, but the food here is amazing. I don't know if I already said that. Everything's so fresh. I love getting room service. I think I got room service for breakfast every day. Here's the view in the daytime from my room. And again, here's the golden pool. It's more of like a quiet, relaxing pool. There's hardly anybody there. It's like a lazy river pool. And I just love how you can hear the little birdies. There's so many birds and it's just such a soothing sound. But it's very quiet and peaceful over here. And I just wanted to show you the landscaping. Like everything's just so beautiful. And it's so clean and well kept. You feel like you're in the jungle. There's definitely like a jungle vibe. And here we are coming up to the main pool. And this pool is huge. And this is more of the quote unquote party side. But I wouldn't even. It's really not that wild. It's just the music's a little bit more like clubby and um, there's more activities going on over there like there's water cycling and maybe like foam parties here and there i've never seen a foam party but by the time you walk all the way to the other side it's quiet and that's the side i prefer and i have to show you the bathroom by the pool i just think it's so cool again it's such a jungle vibe and i have to point out the quality of the paper towels even in the bathroom it's just so nice but my favorite thing to do is lay on this edge of the pool and I take the floaty and I turn it around so just my head is on the floaty and I lay in the water. And here's the food truck. It comes out at lunchtime and they serve, oh my god, all the food was so good. But every time I just got a plain hamburger. But the food at the food truck is so good. And I had to put this in slow motion just so I could talk. But there's even food runners. So they'll come right up to your chair if you don't want to sit at the tables and you can just eat your burger or whatever nachos poolside. And then here is the pool bar and on the other side of this is a swim up bar so you could swim up and get your drink after lunch i would head to the beach and the water is just beautiful there is some seaweed like one of the days there was a lot of seaweed but i didn't really let it bother me and that's by the golden pool and then i'm just going to show you a little bit more of the scenery by the lobby all the open air seating and there's little like bars all around so you could like get a cocktail and then just sit out here and relax um oh i just love it everything's just so pretty and there's always like this soft music playing here's the shower again i'm getting ready for dinner here's my cute little white dress from windsor I even enjoy the walk to dinner and there's it always feels like there's nobody around and sometimes people complain that it's a lot of walking but it's really not and it just gives you a nice chance to see everything if you don't want to walk you can always call for a ride but uh, for tonight uh, we're gonna have dinner at the hibachi restaurant and you do have to make a reservation if you want to do the hibachi so this is my first time I've been here this is my third time here but it's my first time at ginger and oh i got a cosmopolitan the sushi was amazing and if you do want to make a reservation here you have a concierge at every um building that you're staying in and he'll set you up with a reservation if you want to eat here and sometimes it's hard to get into so you want to do that when you first get to the resort and here i'm trying not to get anybody's face in the video but it was really good i got the chicken and steak and here it is and okay so after dinner you go out there's like courtyards there's a lot of like little nightlife I usually don't stay out too late but there's a sports bar there's a martini bar which I did go in and have a martini piano player the fountains again and the next day I headed to the gym and the gym is cool it's kind of half inside half outside and it's enough to get your workout in you know I like to go and just do a little bit of running uh, just because you're eating so much, it just helps me feel better. You know, if you're getting bloated, just burn some extra calories. So here's that outside area. There's weights and a couple benches. 
um and it's just cool you know you just feel like you're in the jungle and again it's limited but it's enough to get the job done and i didn't take um video of the inside because there was people working out but i just did a uphill walking and some sprints did about 20 minutes like two or three days i was here but they have like towels they have cool water in the fridge again here's the outside area i did some weights some squats and lunges here's the bathroom the bathroom's nice because you could lock the door and you could rinse off if you wanted to take a shower um but yeah again they had treadmills they had ellipticals uh it was just it's enough to get the job done work up a little sweat so you feel better about all the calories you're gonna eat and then i wanted to check out this is a new coffee shop and it was so cute and i think they had like ice cream and they had sweets in there you could buy coffees to take home and i think i got the espresso and the chai latte and they were both amazing i thought it was cute too there's even books on the bookshelf so you could sit there and read a book if you wanted and then we got room service for breakfast the cinnamon sugar french toast was amazing i'm so glad i ran on the treadmill before i <laughs> I woofed that down and here I am trying to suck it in as best as I can before I head to the beach or the pool for the day and here's just there's a volleyball in that just thought I'd throw that in and so you have these little huts that you can sit under you can pull the chair out to sit in the sun or you could stay in the shade then they do have this section that uh, you can upgrade and it's just you can lay in a little bit more comfortable of a like a little bed now this is the beachside restaurant it's like a surf and turf this is my first time trying and i'm so glad we did because the food here was amazing I went here for lunch a, one day and dinner and it's surf and turf but it's like open air in there and you don't have to get super dressed up either it's more like casual and here are the chicken nachos they were amazing so i scarfed those down and then i wanted to try the chicken too and the chicken breast was so juicy and delicious i wish i had room to finish it all i'm telling you the food here is amazing and you will not be disappointed okay so then after lunch we had headed to like the gift shops and there was like jewelry shops that had crystals and you know I love crystals, so but they were so expensive here. And there's a gift shop up front, a jewelry store. So yeah, there's plenty of little shops. And look at this little bird, it's so cute. But what I love too is when you come back to your room after they've cleaned it and everything, they always put this nice relaxing music on. And I just leave it on for the rest of the night. It's just like spa music, I love it so the next day we headed to the spa we booked massages and i've gone to the spa every time i've been here and i've always had a good massage so here are the steps leading up to the spa um it's just so clean and beautiful there's like a little fish tank and they give you a locker which locks so you just change and you hang onto the key there's a steam room there's an infrared sauna and they give you a robe and slippers to change into. So, yeah, and it's just like, it's so clean. There's soft music playing. There's a shower. I don't think I filmed the shower, but here's the waiting area when you're waiting to um, go into your massage. They have refreshments, they have water, they have all different types of tea, but everything's just so beautiful. The candles, the rose petals, the music. Uh, I'm just walking to show you all the, the tea selection, the little teapots that are so cute. And again, if you want to book a spa appointment, uh, the concierge at your building will set up the appointment for you. Um, here I am in my robe. I'm just awaiting my wonderful massage. Here's the room. We were in a double room. And there's candles. There's a shower if you want to, I guess, rinse off afterwards. Oh, it's just so nice. Here's the, the steam room, and then here's the sauna. The sauna wasn't extremely hot. I'm used to it being a little hotter, but it was still nice. I love the red light. And um, again, there's like a vanity if you want to get ready afterwards. And here's just more footage of the beach. And I guess I should mention this is the end of 
April, so the water is nice and warm, and there was, it was mostly red flag, uh, there was one day where it was yellow flag, so you could go in pretty deep, and the water was nice and calm, but it's just beautiful, and there's a little picture of the moon, I love when you can see the moon during the day, it's like one of my favorite things ever, so after the beach, you know, you go and shower, you get ready for dinner, the top is from Windsor, the skirt is from Amazon, but um, we're going to head back to that surf and turf restaurant. We were going to do Italian, but it was a little bit of a walk. So I wanted to see if I could see the sunset. Now, the sun will rise on the beach. Uh, if you want to see like a sunrise, uh, you'll have to wake up early to go. But here's just some more scenery on the walk to dinner. And there's a bunch of little, I don't even know what those are called, but... We're back at the Surf and Turf restaurant. This was probably, this was probably my favorite restaurant. Um, cause I've tried the Italian's good. Oh, they have amazing margaritas. And then I got the ribeye. That's probably my favorite cut of steak. And it was so good. I hate when you go out to steak and you're disappointed, but that was probably the best steak I've ever had at a restaurant. Here's just the pool at night. Everything's just slid up so beautiful. And, um... Well, here we are. It's time to check out. I wish I would have gotten more footage, but they make the checkout a breeze, and you're, like, sad to go. Here's the fountain. Um, but, yeah. Until next time, Valentine. I love you so much. And then after this, I'm going to talk some more and give you some more travel tips about being safe going to Mexico and how I found out about this resort. But... Oh, it's just so beautiful. You really do. You have to go. Hello. So I just got back from my trip and it was amazing as usual. But um, I just wanted to give you up front some travel tips about going to Mexico, you know, because I know a lot of people could be nervous to go because you hear stuff in the news, um, that and how I found out about the resort and all that. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is my favorite place to go on vacation and I'm afraid to go anywhere else because I'm scared that it won't compare to the Valentina Imperial. Every, it's just... I don't even know, like I said, it's like heaven on earth. Oh, what is my hair doing? It's like heaven on earth, and they bend over backwards to please you. So let me tell you how I found this place. I actually found it through a client. She had gone and said it was amazing, and she was a travel, um, or no, she was a flight attendant. And so she would, you know, you get free flights, you travel all around, but now she's married and she doesn't work anymore. She's taken care of by her husband. But uh, yeah, so she's the one that told me about it. She said she went and it was amazing and she loved it. And when she, this is what sold me, is that when she was there, she was talking to a couple. And this couple goes to Mexico six or seven times a year. And they go and they try out all the resorts and they say, we keep coming back to the Valentin. It's our favorite. It's the, it has the best food, the best service. Like it doesn't, nowhere else compares, right? And that's what you worry about when you go to Mexico. You hear like you're not supposed to drink the water and you're not supposed to, the, you know, your food. You can get um, sick on the food, food poisoning. So um, knock on wood, I've never had a problem at the Valentin. Like sometimes, you know, and it's my fault. Like I'll eat too much. Like I'll have guacamole and then I'll have a piece of chocolate because everything, you know, like... <laughs> You really have to have self-control. So the only problem I ever had is when I've gotten a stomachache from mixing things I know I shouldn't be eating together. But knock on wood, like I said, I've never gotten sick on the food. And the food is always amazing. You hear on like all-inclusive um, resorts or destinations, the food is not that good. Here, it is so good. And I'm like a foodie. Like I love food, you know, like I'm, I'll be disappointed if the food's not good. I have another client that went to um, Iberostar in Cancun, which is supposed to, it's a well-known, you know, one of the more like five-star luxurious resorts, but she got food poisoning there and she's like, it's ruined your whole time. If you get food poisoning, it's going to ruin your whole time, you know, if you're on the toilet or puking or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so she said she would not go back there because she got sick. 
Um, Another reason why I just love going to Mexico in, in general is because I can get a direct flight from the city I live in. I don't know if there's direct flights from everywhere, but from where I live, I can be there in three and a half, four hours. And then, you know, you have to go through customs and all that and, you know, drive to the airport. So it takes a little bit longer. But for me, number one, I don't like being away from home for too long. I get a little bit homesick. And number two, I don't like to be away from my business for too long. I just start to get a little anxiety, like I should, I should be working. I have gotten better with that but you know you could fly like from from where i live you could fly to florida and be there in two hours or you could fly to mexico and be there in like three to four but i just feel like mexico it's more bang for your buck it really is you get such a good deal for the service you get they treat you like you are royalty and you can pay x amount and go there like four or five days and you would spend like say you go to miami uh you'd spend a fortune in miami and in miami you know you got to worry about all oh, the car where are we going to eat tonight the service is not that good people are rude um and i have been there with people with, with like men who are very very like financially well off like an nfl player who i'm not trying to even drop it this is not really a but anyway, I'm just telling you the caliber, you know, because you're going to get treated better if you're with an NFL player, right? Um, and I have not impressed, you know, I'm not even impressed with that service. Like Miami, I, and it's kind of trashy there. Everything is so expensive. I'm telling you, skip Florida, go to Mexico. And um, I'm always, I like getting the most for my money. Like I tell my like young 21 year old clients to just get on the bar scene. They're like, oh, it's so expensive to go out, you know, go out downtown. I'm like, Get a Long Island iced tea, babe. It's the most bang for your buck. You get five shots of liquor. Well, I'm not even going to go on about that. But I'm like, you get two and you're good to go for the night. That's how I feel about Mexico, right? And the thing about... And I'm scared to go anywhere else because the flight is so quick, right? You get there within four hours. Now, if you go somewhere, say like Bora Bora, I don't even know. Like, they'll take you two days of traveling just to get there. I'm sure you have to go on two planes. You have to take a boat. Um, another like mini plane, maybe a spaceship to get there. I don't know. I just feel like I'd be exhausted by the time you get there, you know? I just feel like Mexicans in general are some of the hardest working people I've ever seen. Even if you go to a Mexican restaurant, you know, they're hustling back and forth to the table. They're speed walking, they're carrying the heavy trays. And you know, when you go to eat at a Mexican restaurant, you blink and then the food's already coming to the table, right? They just, they're hustlers. And the service you get, they bend over backwards to please you from the second you get into the resort. You have to make sure you bring lots of money for tipping because you're just going to want to be handing it out to everyone. That's just the service is so good. And I feel bad if I don't give everybody money. You're not going to get service like that, say, if you go down to Florida or, you know, California or wherever else there's a beach, right? And the beaches there are beautiful. Now, some travel tips on what I do to book the vacation so I feel safe going because I know there's like, you know, you hear stories about like tainted alcohol alcohol or um like the drug cartel killing people but you know what they put out a statement because there was recently like a car of four girls that were going down to their get plastic surgery and um the cartel apologized i'm like i don't know who's doing press releases for the cartel but they said that they're sorry and they're going to be more careful i'm like whatever you know it's just a risk i'm willing to take to get out of this crap weather and but the ways that i stay safe when i go to mexico is that i book through apple vacation the reason i like doing this instead of booking directly through the hotel and like trying to find your own private transportation is because because your name is going to be on a list and you're accounted for okay and i feel better with that and you're going to be like in a bus with maybe um like going to the airport or going to the resort you might be in a bus with like maybe like six or seven other people and they are going to make other stops and drop them off at resorts but it's kind of nice because you can see what the other resorts look like going up to them like oh is this one nice is this one look and none of the resorts like I, i'm not trying to be a bitch but they don't look anything like I would want to pull up. Like some of the resorts look a little bit sketchy. But the second you roll into the Valentine Imperial, it's impeccable. It's like the grounds, like just even the grounds just rolling up. I'm going to put that in the video because I took footage of like some of the other resorts. And it's just like shrub and brushel and is that even a word? I don't know. Um, it doesn't look nice pulling up. The Valentine is impeccable. The grounds are impeccable. Everything about it is so aesthetically pleasing. 
Um, but anyway, that's why I like to book through Apple because you're accounted for. They set up the transportation for you. Your name is on a list. You're on a bus with other people, you know, and I just feel like, and sometimes you're on a big mega bus going back to the airport. Like there's a whole shit ton of people on the bus with you. So I just feel better than like, say, say you're traveling alone. Then you don't feel like you're going to be alone in a car and like someone's going to, because there are stories where you get into a car, like an unmarked like cab or something in Mexico. They pull over. This happened to my, um, I'm not trying to scare you. This was years ago. It happened to my friend's brother and he was robbed and thrown on the side of the road. That was in Mexico, but that was like in the city. Anyway, that's how you stay safe going from the res um, from the airport to the resort. And then you set up transportation for your way back as well. And you will be accounted for. Your name is on a list and you will be traveling on a bus with other people back to the airport. Okay. I don't go off the resort when I go. Sometimes they say, oh, do you want to go on an excursion? No, thanks. Um, no, I'll just stay on the resort. Thank you. Cause you don't need to leave. Okay. Like I don't really have to see sea turtles or go swim with the dolphins. Like, you know, I could probably do that in the U S so, um, oh, I almost forgot to mention. I also like booking through Apple vacations because, um, you can buy the travel protection plus, which I always do. And it's like a hundred dollars a person, but for me, it's just worth it because, um, you can cancel your whole vacation. I could charge anything, um, two hours before your flight. If anything happens, like they say, you know, if your pet gets sick, if the weather looks bad and you just want to reschedule it, that's why I do it because I'm like, oh, what if there's a tropical storm that randomly rolls in or something, then I can reschedule it for another time. And what do you lose a hundred bucks? I'm sure you're going to lose a lot more if on your flight and the room, they'll probably charge you. So it's so nice to have this insurance. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention. I thought I was done talking, but apparently not. Sorry, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It just came to me. Um, is my bikinis that I wear and the ones, my favorite bikinis of all time. I always mix and match because I'm never the same size. Sometimes I'm a medium on the bottom and a small on top or whatever, but I get the bombshell, Victor the Victoria's Secret bombshell swim tops because I'm small chested, so it gives me a little bit more oomph. Those are my favorite. They discontinued them for a while, but they're back. And my favorite bottoms of all time, it's like a Brazilian cut. Um, it's not quite a thong because I'm not comfortable with wearing like a full out thong, but it's not full coverage either. It's like right in between and it shapes your butt perfectly. So it looks like a nice little peach. It's the Live, Live brand and it's a Brazilian brand. Did I already say that? They actually found me on Instagram like years and years ago and they were so nice when I was in Miami. They're like, if you're in Miami, come down and you can pick out anything you want. And I picked out the cutest swimsuit ever. But um, those are my favorite bottoms. They're like the Brazilian cut. It's like live with an exclamation point. And um, oh my God, they're my favorite cut. I can't wear anything. Hang on. See, this is the cut. You see how it's, it's a Brazilian cut. And I love that there are string bikinis. And because I don't like when it's elastic. Because what if you eat a lot that day or you're bloated? So these have adjustable straps. So there's a little bit of room for, and then you can wear them up. You can wear them down. It, they're perfect.